here with local reaction to this tonight, Bianca. Karen John, that's right. The Boy Scouts of America has more than 2.6 million youth members and more than 1 million adult members. This extremely large organization might soon change its message. When I was a young boy, I always wanted to join the Boy Scouts myself. And I wasn't able to join for a variety of reasons, I, I, you know, for family reasons. But now looking back, I'm glad I wasn't part of it. Because for the last 103 years since its inception, the Boy Scouts of America excluded gays as leaders and youth members. Gary Costa, the interim executive director of the Center for the LGBT Community, says that sends the wrong message to youth. It's a horrible um, statement to make that they won't allow certain boys, and that means boys who identify as being heterosexual or boys who come from traditional families who their parents are not gay. Costa says he's been looking at the numbers. Since 1973, 43% of their membership is down. So they used to have 4.8 members at any given time. Now they're down to 2.8 million scouts. He thinks poor numbers give the BSA a good reason to change. I think it's great. Although I think it's financially based. I think that a lot of it has to do with funding. We know for a fact that several of the large corporate um, donors in the past have withdrawn funding over the past few years as a result of their discriminatory policies. Motive or not, Costa says, bottom line, a change could mean more of the Coachella Valley youth getting the right message. Whether you're gay, if your parents are gay, or anyone that you love is gay, that you're all right, that you're normal, you're part of the system, you're part of this world, and there's nothing wrong with you. A Boy Scouts of America spokesperson says it would not, under any circumstances, dictate a position to units, members, or parents. The different religious and civic groups that sponsor Scout units would be able to decide for themselves whether they want to lift the ban or not. Now, the organization says there could be an announcement on the decision as early as next week, so I think a lot of people are pretty uh, curious to see what happens. It's very interesting because it's just mm -hmm. not a black and white issue, so right. to speak. They have to think about all these families. Families boys that come from two, you know, two men right. families and their parents, two women. And it was interesting, Costa said, you know, he has some friends who they're, you know, heterosexual parents, but they don't let their children be in Boy Scouts just because they don't like what they think it represents by having this ban. So, mm -hmm. so we're going to be up to individual troops, individual units Correct. to make the final decision. So it wouldn't be a blanket, you know, thing. If, it doesn't mean everybody has to lift this ban. It just means if they were to pass this, you know, some people would be able to allow Gay members into their organization. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thanks. President.